How's it going? Oh, I'm doing tremendously. Uh, tremendously. Oh, forget it. Guess what? I've got my Christmas tree. <gasps> Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. What? We haven't got a Christmas tree. So, how's yours coming along? Ours? Uh, uh, fantastic. Probably the best Christmas tree in the world! Hmm... Well, that's great! I can't wait to see it. Me too! I mean, I can see it! Because it's, it's here, it's real, and it's simply not made up! <laughs> yeah, real. Right... Well, we best get decorating. Good luck! You too! <laughs> Send me a photo when it's done! Will do! Bye! Bye! <sighs> Esme, you just told Olivia we have a Christmas tree. Yep. But we don't have a Christmas tree. No. So, why did you tell her we do have a Christmas tree? Because, Isabella, Olivia's always so smug when she puts up her oh so beautiful Christmas tree. Well, this year, we're going to be the ones with the beautiful tree. But we don't have a tree. I know we don't have a tree. Uh -huh. We're just going to have to make one. photo of the tree. Now that is a tree. That is a green heap with tinsel on it. Oh, what are we going to do? If only our tree looked like one of these. <gasps> That's perfect! Esme, what are you doing? This'll show Olivia. Ha ha, this should be good. Huh? Hmm. Pretty great, huh? Is it by any chance the Mega Deluxe Tree Thousand by Trees R Us? Um, yes, yes it is, it is, yes. Oh, that's 
interesting. Uh, not that interesting. Oh, actually, it's very interesting. Because I bought the very last one from Trees R Us yesterday. Well, it's just that it's, I, it, I, 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 oh, fine. I just took a photo out of the catalogue, okay? You're always so smug. Look how amazing my tree is. Ugh. We forgot to get a Christmas tree. That's the truth. We just wanted one nicer than yours. Well, yes, it is, um, pretty majestic. There you go again. Who do you want to phone to? Oh, no one. Shh. Well, I'm sorry you're so jealous of my tree decor. <gasps> no! What's going on? I enlisted the help of an evil friend of ours. Hee hee hee. Happy Christmas, everyone. It's May. Let's get to sleep. I want to wake up nice and early so we can open our Christmas presents. Me too, Olivia. How early were you thinking? I was thinking two or three in the morning. Oh. Not that early, Esme. Why not, Olivia? Santa delivers the presents in the middle of the night. So why don't we open them straight away? Oh. Think about it. Esme, remember what happened when you did this last year? You were so tired, you fell asleep in the middle of lunch. In your lunch. Ugh, fine. Let's wait until morning then. <sighs> Night, Esme. Night, Olivia. Okay, that's uh, two teddy bears, uh, one toy soldier, leaves us with three spinning tops, carry the potato gun, and uh, carry the spinning top, and then we've got oh, a jolly good Christmas, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous. Interesting, not exactly what I asked Santa for. Then again, maybe a gobstopper the size of a soccer ball doesn't exist. A toy robot? Cool. Now come on, let's get to sleep. Fine. Robot model KDYZ operational purpose destroy princesses. Ah! Ah! Battery zero percent. Entering shutdown mode. Ooh, that was close. Tell me about it. It almost knocked over the Christmas tree. I was more worried about us, Esme. <laughs> Esme, check this out. <gasps> Malice. Okay, princesses. I've made a couple of tweaks and now the robot will do whatever you want. Awesome. Thanks, Liliana. Yeah, thanks, Lil. No problem, princesses. Now see you in the morning to open our presents. Okay, robot. At your service, Olivia. Go in there and chase malice. Affirmative, chase malice. Let's go, Olivia. I don't want to be falling asleep in my lunch again. <laughs> Snuggles is why you should never ever dive headfirst into a paddling pool of jelly. A call at this time of evening.
Look, Mr. Snuggles. It's from Santa. Hello, Princess Olivia of Zuzaland speaking. Hello, Olivia. It's Santa. Hi, Santa. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, quite all right. But listen, Olivia. Me and Rudolph have been talking about what we want you to leave out for us. Oh, I see. Not milk and cookies as normal. Yes, that. And other things as well. Do you have a pen? Um, 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 no, wait, wait. So I'll need... <gasps> Just about do it. Did you get all of that? Um, um, no. Could you repeat that? Oh, fine. Are you listening now? Cleaned out those ears. Yes, yes. Ready. Okay. So I need the milk and cookies like normal. Actually, make that double the amount of cookies. Double the amount of cookies? A book of pranks. A book of pranks. A giant cauldron of slime. Cauldron of slime? And last but not least, the fruit of the Zeus and Honky Tonk tree. Whatty what tree? Exactly. Where will I find one of them? Uh, at the top of the Great Man Zula. Okay. Right, gotta go, bye. Well, Mrs. Snuggles, we better get going, otherwise Santa won't deliver our presents. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Or should I say, ha, ha. Yeah. Look, Mrs. Snuggles, a book of pranks. Open with caution. Well, that could have got better. Now let's see what's left on Santa's list. The fruit of the Susan something tree from the top of the Mount Zeus. Well, Mr. Snuggles, I can't see this going wrong. Have you got your backpack? Right, let's go. Yes, perfect. And Livia's gone. Probably to find some imaginary fruit from the top of Mount Zeus. And look. My cookies, my prank book, and my slime. <laughs> Santa? Santa! What are you doing here? Oh, Olivia, what are you doing here? Me and Mr. Snuggles are going to get that weird fruit from the top of Mount Zusa. But surely Mr. Snuggles forgot his backpack. <laughs> Your teddy has a backpack. <laughs> yes, you should know. You gave it to him last Christmas. Oh, oh, of course I remember Olivia. Here you go, Mr. Snuggles. So, what did you say you were doing here again? Oh, I was just planning where to put the presents, you see. Enough. Come on, Mr. Snuggles, we've got a mountain to climb. Ooh. Have fun, Olivia. <laughs> Where did you just say? Ho, ho, ho. I said ho, ho, ho. No, you said wah, ha, ha. No, no, no. I said ho, ho, ho. Santa, what's happened to your beard? Nothing, nothing. My beard's always like this. Manus, is that you? No, no, it is. Oh, fine. It's me. Oh, Manus, why do you do these things? Well, I did it for the cookies and the prank book and the slime, but mainly for the fun of it. Well, I picked up a few things when I was reading that prank book, Manus. 
Oh yeah? Well you wouldn't know good prank if it pranked you in the face. Well Manus, if you like having a beard so much, why don't you try this one on for size? Oh trat. You're right, need some hair to match. for the presents, carrot for Rudolph, and mince pies for me. Hmm. Ah, I can't wait for Christmas. for this. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Aha! There you are! Oh, hey Olivia. A miserable Christmas to you. Enough pleasantries. Where are they? Where are what? Our Christmas presents. The ones you stole. Um, I definitely didn't steal any Christmas presents. Oh, yes, you did. No, I didn't, and I can prove it. See, I was asleep all night. This doesn't make any sense. If you didn't, then who did? Yes, well, I'd love to stay in chat, but I don't want to, so goodbye. Hmm. So you see, it couldn't have been Malice. Well, who could it have been? Beats me. I know. Let's make a trap and catch the thief. I'll leave you guys to it. I've got a lot of work to do. Right, Isabella. See you in five. There. That should attract the thief. What do we do now? Now we wait. <gasps> gotcha. Ooh. Well, if it isn't Santa, Santa Claus, you are the one stealing our presents. Santa does not compute, does not compute. Huh? Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Santa is a robot! Unless... What? Of course! Who do we know that's clever enough to build a robot? <laughs> um, I was gonna give them back. I promise. This one's for Esme! Ooh, exciting! This one's for Isabella! Yay, yay, yay! Liliana! Which means this one must be for me! Right, after three. One, two. Oh, three. New shoes! New toys! <gasps> New food! <gasps> the new Magic Detector 5000! Thanks guys! This is going to be the best Christmas ever! It sure is 
says May. Especially now Malice has stopped being evil. I still can't believe this has actually happened. She's turned nice. I haven't been pranked in two weeks. She's become so nice. She's even invited us to Christmas lunch. Ooh, my tummy's rumbling just at the thought. I can't believe those princesses actually fell for it. Me? Nice? <laughs> They've fallen right into the trap. This Christmas dinner is going to be the most horrible, disgusting dinner they've ever had. <laughs> what do you think she'll be cooking? I reckon they'll be turkey. Turkey that gives you silly hair. <gasps> Roast potatoes. Potatoes covered in sneezing powder. <laughs> Carrots. Carrots that turn your nose into a carrot. <laughs> and bread pudding. And bread pudding. There's nothing magical about it, but I just think it tastes disgusting. Oh. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Finished. Now we just have to wait for our guests. Well, princesses, happy Christmas. Thank you so much for joining me for lunch. As you know, I've really turned a corner with my evilness and I'm just so glad you've given me a second chance. Yes, you're welcome. Magic food, magic food. Evil spells, evil food. So, you really turned a corner, have you, Malice? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Now, shall we dig into our lunch? Absolutely. Oh, look, over there, a dragon on stilts. Where? Oh, missed it. They're really elusive, these still walking dragons. Anyway, tuck in. So, how's the food, everyone? Lovely. Mmm, delicious. Not feeling a little sneezy? No, nope. no. Noses aren't feeling a little carroty? Not even a little bit. Wait, really? Surprised, Malice? <clears throat> no, why should I be? Maybe because none of your spells worked. <gasps> spells? What spells? <clears throat> the ones I detected with my new Magic Detector 5000. <gasps> <gasps> ha, that's right. I reversed all of your horrible magic. Magic? Malice, I thought you'd given that all up. Of course I didn't, Esme. Let's just have a boring Christmas lunch then, shall we? All of the spells apart from your food, Malice. Huh? 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 Achoo! Achoo! You horrible princesses! Achoo! Achoo to you too! Liliana, I can't believe... Oh, it's incredible! I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. What is it filled with? That's for me to know and you to find out, Olivia. <gasps> you mean? Yep, you get to open it. <gasps> You're the best, Liliana. Can I start now? You sure can, Olivia. Okay, okay. Where's the number one? Getting warmer. Almost got it. Found it. Now what? You have to break into it. That's what. <gasps> it's a little surprise. Thanks, Liliana. I know. I'm awesome. Open it then. Wow. Oh, look, it says surprise. 
surprise inside. <gasps> oh wow, it's a baby bottle. It's so cute. Oh, that ice skating shoes. Okay, two seconds everybody. This is my little surprise doll. She's got the same colour hair as me. Okay, time to go, I guess. Same time, same place tomorrow. Wait, hang on. We're not going to open the rest of the advent calendar. No, that's not how an advent calendar works. You open one per day until Christmas. But... No buts. That's how it works. See you tomorrow then. Huh. Okay. <laughs> The advent calendar, open the advent calendar. 23 more boxes. Go on, no one will know you did it. Oh, I guess I could always blame on Malice. Only one more box to open. Number 24, the big one. Uh-oh, I've been rumbled. Quick, hide! Huh? What's happened here? Someone's robbed the advent calendar! Ha, I've caught you, Croc! Huh? Olivia? <gasps> oh, Olivia, what have you done? Liliana, it's not what it looks like. And how did you know to come here? I alarmed the advent calendar in case something like this happened. And it did. Honestly, it wasn't me. Then who was it? I don't know. Oh, all this time and effort to make the world biggest advent calendar and it's ruined! Well, there's still one door that hasn't been opened. <gasps> it's number 24! The best present is still left! Hey, Olivia! Yes, Liliana? To make us feel better, what do you say we open the final box? Really? <sighs> Why not? Ah. Okay, let's get this door open. Wow, it's Malice! Malice is a special Christmas Eve present. Exactly! Wait, what? Um, surprise! <gasps> I see what's going on here. Malice, you are going to steal all the presents! <gasps> Malice! How could you? I'm surprised it took you this long to figure out. Who else would it be? Uh, Mr. Zuza? Liliana, who is Mr. Zuza? Never mind that now, Malice. I've got a surprise for you. Oh. There you go, Santa. Take us somewhere far, far away. Your wish is my command, Liliana. Come on, Malice. I'll get you for this, princesses. Ah! I can't hear you, Malice. Hee <laughs> hee. Happy Christmas, everyone. It's Christmas again. Oh, and I've come up with the perfect plan to ruin it for those princesses. They're going to get the surprise of a lifetime. <laughs> Snuggles. All right, sorry, Mr. Snuggles. 
Right, let's see who this present's from. A very special friend. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this, not one bit. Right, any second now, I'm going to jump out and give Olivia the fright of a lifetime. Three, two, one. Wait, what? Where am I? <gasps> Ooh! It's filled with sweets! Ooh! Surprise! Ah! Esme! You almost gave me a heart attack! Sorry, Olivia. So, do you like your present? This was from you? Yep, from my own personal collection. Ah, it all makes sense now. But wait, why did you sign it as moi ha 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 ha? Oh, <laughs> I was watching a horror film whilst writing it. Ah. <gasps> they must have sent the package to the wrong place. Ugh, stupid postman. Right, which way do I need to go? Uh, that way? Shall we dig in? Oh, I was really hoping you would say that. Gone. 
Is that it? One tiny little tin opener. <gasps> Maybe there's more presents down at the bottom. Wow, this stocking's a lot bigger than I thought. <gasps> it's some sort of magical tunnel. I wonder where it leads. Ooh, I hope it's the magical land of sweets or, or the chocolate factory or the apple pie emporium. <laughs> yes, Esme, that's exactly where it leads. Come on, just a little further. Huh? It's a dead end. This can't be right. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> Going somewhere, Esme. and use a little bit of magic. Huh? My magic isn't working. Ha! That will be the special magic proof fabric. Oh, what am I going to do? I've got Christmas lunch to eat, leftover Christmas lunch to eat, and presents to eat. Wait a second. Food, of course! <gasps> My tin opener. I can eat it for sustenance. Or I can use it to escape. Yes, that's a much better idea. <gasps> I'm free! I'm free, I'm free! Malice? Uh, Esme, um, it's not what it looks like. Malice! <sighs> okay, relax Esme, put the tin opener down and we can deal with this. Come on now, Esme, be reasonable. Esme, Esme! Ah, right, time to get back home for Christmas lunch. Wait, you'll need this more than I do, Malice. Right, Esme, it's the night before Christmas. Is everything ready? It sure is, Olivia. Right. Stockings. Check! Carrots for Rudolph. Check! Mince pies for Santa. Um, about that. Esme, what have you done? Uh, I might have, by mistake, a little bit eaten all the mince pies. Esme, how could you? Santa can't deliver presents to the whole of Kitty Land on an empty stomach. <laughs> I was only joking, Olivia. Trust me, nothing is going to ruin this Christmas. Oh, I hate Christmas. Everyone's so merry and jolly. Pa! Crystal ball, round and shiny. Show me those princesses. Gross and whiny. Trust me, nothing is going to ruin this Christmas. Nothing is going to ruin Christmas, eh? We'll see about that! Time for Project to Ruin Christmas. I simplify the plan. Now it's time to put it into action. not home. He's always home on time the night before Christmas. I better call the workshop. 
That's uh, two teddy bears, uh, one toy soldier, leaves us with three spinning tops, carry the potato gun, and oh, we've got a recipe for a jolly good Christmas there. <laughs> Hello, is this Cedric, the head elf? Uh, it is indeed, ma'am. Cedric, have you seen Santa? Oh, uh, no, not since he left the workshop, uh, about an hour ago. Hmm, he's not home. Uh, well, he's not here at the workshop. Which means he's... Missing! <laughs> Comfy Santa! <laughs> what do you think, Malice? Come on, Santa. Cheer up. It's almost Christmas. Have a mint pie. Well, Malice, you've glued me to the stool, so maybe if you unstick me, I might be able to have one. <laughs> Silly Santa! Then you would escape! And that simply wouldn't do. Oh, Santa, where's your Christmas spirit? That one, when you kidnap me, Malice. Who's going to deliver the presents if I'm here? Come on, Santa. Don't worry. <gasps> Let's try singing a song. Jingle bell, Santa smells. Malice is the best. Fine. It's going to be a long evening. We just need to hang up our stockings and we should probably get to sleep. That's the biggest stocking I've ever seen, Esme. Bigger stocking, bigger presents, Olivia. <laughs> Esme, you're so funny. Now let's get to sleep. Night, Olivia. Night, Esme. A call? This late at night? Who is it? It's Mrs. Claus. Hello? Olivia! Is that you? It is Mrs. Claus. Shouldn't you be loading up the sleigh at this time? Oh, Olivia, there's been a disaster. Santa's missing. Santa's gone missing? What? Olivia, can you and Esme come to the North Pole and help me find him? Sure thing, Mrs. Claus. Grab your shoes, Esme. We're going to the North Pole. So, who exactly are these people coming to help us, Mom? Olivia and Esme from Kitty Zuzaland. Are you sure about this, Mom? We don't normally let outsiders come to the grotto, you know. Trust me, Cedric. Don't know what to do. Mrs. Claus, still no sign of Santa? Nothing. Princesses, we need to find Santa urgently, otherwise there'll be snow Christmas for anybody. This is Cedric, by the way, head of operations at Santa's workshop. Hi, Cedric. <laughs> Princesses? Okay, there's no time to waste. Let's split up. I'll check the stables. Cedric, you double check the workshop. And Princesses, you check the yoga studio. <gasps> the yoga studio? Yay, yoga! Yes, the yoga studio. Santa sometimes likes to ride there before a long night in the sleigh. Mm, fair enough. Come on, everybody, let's go. Okay everyone, now we're moving into Downward Facing Reindeer. Any 
yourself, Mrs. Claus? Nothing. Christmas is ruined! No, it's not, Esme. Come on. I've got a plan. Hmm. Me and Esme will deliver the presents. <gasps> really? That's a brilliant idea, Olivia. Uh, absolutely not. Cedric, what do you mean? It's the perfect solution. It certainly is not. Those princesses are far too young to be operating a sleigh. It's a serious bit of kit, you know. <gasps> How hard can it be? How hard can it be? Well, princesses, how hard is a piece of string? I mean, first of all, you've got the dual gauge twin turbo exhaust system to deal with. That takes at least four weeks training. Uh, then let me see, you've got the reindeer antler satellite navigation system, a further two weeks. And then if you take into consideration the weight distribution of the presents, which do tend to shift in flight, might I add, that's an extra difficulty. And of course the atmosphere is so thin up there. No, I'm sorry, but you're looking at at least two months at the very least of training, hard work and rigorous study before you can fly one of those things. Huh, there is simply nothing you can do, say, or point to behind my back that will persuade me, Cedric the Elf, that those princesses are capable of flying a sleigh. Well, this is a disaster. I can't believe you did that. Well, someone had to do something. Christmas was almost ruined and this is amazing! Come on Rudolph, let's go. in time. Aha! Rescue me soon. This tower is making me a little claustrophobic.
like some kind of smoke signal. Flare? Flare? What does that mean? No idea! Probably just malice causing trouble. You know how she hates Christmas. Eh, you're probably right. that Santa goes missing the night before Christmas, an event that Malice hates. And now there's a help signal above her house. Oh, I get it. Malice isn't getting any presents, so she sent out a help signal. No, Esme. Malice captured Santa. Oh. Come on, Rudolph, take us to the tower. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, everyone! 